What's up, Irish fans? Anthony Romo here with another edition of our player profiles here with the Ursuline Fighting Irish football team. Glad to be joined with linebacker John Frangos today. John, thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. So this is a pretty special interview. We hit some milestones throughout the season of player profiles here with YSN. You're the first sophomore that we've done on this Ursuline Irish football team. And I think for good reason, second on the team in tackles coming into this week. You've been all over the field from the linebacker position. Um, I'll start it here. Going back to week one of the season, you were kind of thrown into a very big role onto this team. Only a sophomore. Took a lot of trust from Coach Rudin to throw you out there and right into the thick of things. What's the biggest thing you've learned about varsity football during this season? Probably the speed and the physicality of the game. It's a lot different than from lower levels. But, um, yeah, probably, probably just the physicality of the players and how big they are. Um, yeah, you guys have played a lot of teams this year that both ways have been hitting really hard. I go back to the Cheney game. It was like every single play from where we were, we were in the booth, we could hear the helmets hitting. And you had a big tackle last week, actually, where I, I could hear the helmet to helmet contact. It, that was that was a pretty cool scene last week. Let's go back to that Talmadge game last week. You guys fell behind early on, fourteen to zero, but. I was talking to Coach Reardon earlier, and he said that there was really no sense of panic at all on the team with the way you guys were moving the ball. You just weren't capitalizing on drives. Yeah. And give credit to Talmadge. You guys knew coming in that they were a passing team, and they just started running the ball all over the field. <laughs> got to give credit to them. But you guys eventually got it all together, built some momentum. From your standpoint defensively, you guys had that huge safety in the end zone. Michael Branch busted right through the line and got that tackle. What was the feeling like when you guys are finally able to crack the seal on the scoreboard and get on it? You know, once that first point's hit, you could tell the momentum shifted. We got a good a good group of fans, and uh, you could tell that they were really loud and you know, the momentum uh, shifted. Um, and there are a lot of guys that have had a lot of experience on this defense from past teams. You look at the line, a lot of seniors, and then Tyreek Donlow Jr., who was a sophomore on last year's team that went to the state title game. From your standpoint, how much have those upperclassmen kind of taught you this season about varsity football? You know, all of them for sure uh, had a big part in it, but Tyreek for sure the most. Uh, he's really helped me because he's been in this position, obviously. Started as a freshman, I think, in a playoff game. So he's really helped That's huge. Me a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then heading into this week, you guys are facing off against a Canfield team that, of course, is another Valley school very close to you guys. I'm sure you – you guys probably know some of the kids on that team. They know some of you guys. Um, has to be a pretty cool feeling going into that. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people there Friday night. Yeah, yeah. It's for, it's for sure a good feeling, knowing that there's going to be a lot of uh, people there that I could perform in front of. Yeah, and we hope you perform here at YSN for sure. From my standpoint of the broadcast, I'll be on the call with Richie Giuliano, who's the Canfield guy. So mm -hmm. a little bit of, a little bit of um, John on the field and up in the booth, I'm sure, Friday night. I hope that you guys are able to get the upper end of the spectrum. There have been so many big games this season that you guys have played in and been a part of. Talked about Cheney, um, so many. From your standpoint, has there been one game that has kind of stood out to you among the rest of the season? I mean, I really, I really did like the Brookfield game. That was I a know, good start to the year. Yeah, good start to the year. I knew a lot of kids from Brookfield. A lot of little talking before the game, so and you guys really, came out. What, yeah, came out, came out playing. Win, so I, I really like that game. Um, okay, we'll go off the field real quick. Um, Ursuline High School, your sophomore year. When we go back to your freshman year, kind of your first week, what was the hardest thing for you to kind of get used to? Um, going to a new school and kind of with some new people. Um, well, the football team made it really easy to make friends and know all the people there but uh the hardest thing was probably i would say was the it new the new teachers the new was it hard to find classes yeah hard to find classes you know it's it's just it was just different overall environment was yeah i bet um i've been in the confines of Erson high school before and that's a tricky place to walk around i got lost in there went down to the irish cottage a few weeks ago completely got lost in the school but yeah. That's okay. That's a story for another day. Um, growing up, did you play any other sports besides football? Um, I still play baseball, and I played basketball, but I uh, I stopped. Just play two sports right now. So that's fair. So, But growing up, you kind of did a little bit of everything, baseball, yeah, yeah. football, basketball. Are you more of a baseball or football guy? Oh, for sure, football. Okay. Yeah. 
growing up, um, what kind of made you fall in love with football? What's your favorite part of the game? Uh, you know, playing with your brothers right beside you, having fun, um, hitting. I was going to say, you better like hitting because yeah. if you didn't like that, then I don't know what you're doing on yeah. Friday nights because that's all you do. Yeah. Um, playing the role of linebacker is a really tricky position to play on defense because you have a lot of roles, not only stopping the run, stopping the pass, but you kind of have to point out what the offense is doing and so-and-so. Um, what's your favorite part of playing for this Ursuline Irish football team? My favorite part probably is the energy that comes around it. You know, we got a good defensive coordinator that likes to uh, hype us up for games, during games. So I really uh, I really like the energy that we bring. There's a lot of tradition here. You look at these walls behind us here at the Golden Dawn. Um, you look at all the plaques, the state championship pictures. You see jerseys hung up here. How about in a few weeks – we make a little bit of room and add something else to this wall. I agree. I think I, I think that'd be nice. Um, but of course, one week at a time, and, and you guys know that you have a really big opponent this week in Canfield. They have one of the best quarterbacks in the area, and Brock Lowry, who not only likes to throw the ball, but he likes to run with it as well. And he's Coach Reardon said he's arguably one of the best running backs that you guys will probably face this season, just because of how big he is. Yeah. Division one recruit going to the University of Indiana, studying film earlier on this week. What have you guys kind of seen? that Canfield does that poses them as a dangerous threat this week? You know, like you said, the quarterback, uh, they got a cut. I know Danny Inglis, number 11, he's a fast guy. I know a couple kids over there, but uh, their line seems to be nice. So, I mean, just the run game really seems to uh, be pushing their offense. Yeah, um, that's they, – they can do a little bit of everything. Their only loss this season was to a team that you guys beat in Cheney by three points. I believe they only lost by three or four. So, yeah. um Two very hard-fought games against a Cheney team that unfortunately had their season end um, last week. On the other side of the spectrum, Chardon and Kenson are going to be facing off. So if you guys are able to win this week, that would be a really fun matchup against either of those teams next week. Okay, so this is how we like to end all our interviews at YSN. Rapid fire. I'm sure you've watched them before. You know what's coming up. Um, we'll start. Get the cat out of the hat right away. Music. What are you listening to pregame Friday night before the Canfield game? Young boy. Young boy. Okay. Young boy. That's fair. We've heard a lot of young boy this season, a little bit of Rod Wave. I'm trying to think. We had some Drake last week, but young boy, I would say, is the most popular choice um, for good reason. Yeah. I'm a big young boy guy myself. Um, okay. Trying to think. Family. How much How much does your family mean to you? Uh, Family means everything to me, you know wasn't for my family then I probably wouldn't be playing football today like I like I am um they helped me get to the school so family's a huge part of my life and then of course I know this personally that you're from Harvard because I'm from Harvard as well yep. had to be a really hard choice to kind of come to Ursuline in high school what was it about Ursuline high school that kind of made you want to come over here and, and take on a new role at a new school so really not saying Hubbard didn't have this but a championship tradition. Like I know they're known for winning, making deep playoff runs and that's what I wanna that's what I wanna do. Do you wanna play football at the next level? Yeah. So this is definitely um a good place to be and and gotta give props to Hubbard too, because you know this too. I mean Hubbard Hubbard produces some pretty good athletes as well. So it had to be a really hard choice, but um I think you made a good one here coming to Ursuline because this team you you mesh really well with this team. I'll say that. I mean, you play a big role on this defense week in, week out, already as a sophomore. Um, so hopefully over the next few years, start to get those offers coming, which I'm sure they will, and then um, we'll be here for the ride. Don't forget us at YSN. I'll say that when, when you eventually move on. Um, okay, so we'll, we'll go back to the school perspective. Who's your favorite teacher at Ursuline High School? You know, I, last year I have her sister this year, but Senora Montaldo, Spanish teacher. She is probably the most popular choice. She's a great lady. Love her. I am, I I bet. I would love to meet you, Sintor, Senora Montaldo, um, because whatever sport we do, soccer, football, um, cross country, also one of the one of the kids said her um, very popular teacher at Urson yeah. High School. And then one final thing before we wrap this up, John, what's what's one thing that you think this Urson team has to do this upcoming Friday to come out on top? Start. Start. Bring energy, from bring pressure from the start, um, right. and finish. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I'll be there Friday night. I wish you guys the best of luck and go get that victory. All right. Thank you.